Well, let's slide over to the featured story of the week, if we may. We've got a great one for you, and I can't wait to uh, to bring this individual out to introduce her to the nation. And we've kind of planned a, a little tag team here. What we've done is, is we have one of our newly inducted FAB members. That's right, newly inducted FAB members, Mr. Rob Lett from Atlanta, Georgia, coming on out here to introduce this week's featured story, a gal that he's come to know and is really doing some terrific things. So, Rob, I'm going to let you do the introductions. Come on out. Thank you, Bob. Can you hear me? I certainly can. Awesome. Awesome. I'm glad that you gave us the opportunity to do this because, you know, it, it's really awesome that what we do is just celebrate community. And so many times people ask me all the time, they're like, how can you tell when you're talking to people, you know, who's going to be a fit for the marketing side? And I'm like, you can't. You just really can't. Um, you know, people surprise you all the time. And so one of the people that we really, really watched her come into our own is uh, Candy Wigner, and we just wanted to bring her out this evening. And so, um, Candy, if you can come on out here and, and let's just talk a little bit. I know a little bit about your background, but just wanted to help you to, to share your story with the nation. Candy, are you on? I am. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Now, I already know a little bit about your, your, your background and some of the things that you overcome and everything, but um, tell everyone what your background is. How did you, what were you doing before we're not? Okay, um, basically what I was doing before Renatus was I was a single mom and I was working in law enforcement. And it's not a big secret that people who work in, in public service barely get paid little to over, over poverty level. And when you add in two kids, it takes you below poverty level. Um, I was basically working over 90 hours per week. I was begging them to, to let me work that many hours. And as a result of that, my kids had to move to the back burner. Uh, they wanted to work, uh, I'm sorry, but they wanted to participate in after school activities. But the problem with that is, number one, I really couldn't afford the fees. And even if I could, I couldn't get them there. I was working so many hours that I couldn't get them to practices. I couldn't get them there or pick them up. So it just was absolutely impossible. So I was basically living a stereotypical single mother lifestyle where I was working endless hours and they were sitting in front of the TV or in some form of, of gaming device. Mm -hmm. and, and so how did you, well, I remember you were working in law enforcement and everything and you, you said you're, like your whole family is in law enforcement or something, right? Um, that's right. My, my brother is actually in, in Secret Service. My dad works um, in law enforcement and so it is a, a big law enforcement family. So me wanting to do real estate um, well, there was definitely a, a, a barrier there, and it's not that my family didn't support me to do it, but they really didn't see it happening either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, what was it? What was it that happened that that got you exposed to Renatus? What What did you see? What was it about it that made you decide that this is it for you? Well. I, over the years, I've also attended, like many of the, the people here on the line, I attended numerous seminars and I read as many you know, real estate investing books as I could get my hands on and took as many notes as possible. But when it came down to it, I didn't know how to apply that knowledge. And so um, in the spring of 2011, I responded to an ad. And I believe it said, you know, real estate investor seeks apprentice. So, after a few days after responding, I was actually um, introduced to Lori Burkhead. And she had told me about um, how she was exposed to, to Rich Dad and all those type things. So we ended up getting a good relationship and how she explained to me how Renatus was different. Um, it just wasn't about education. It was the, the community and the hands-on training. And for me, that's all I needed to know. I was in. You know, I didn't know how I was going to get in. I didn't know how I was going to do it. But I, I knew that I was going to do it, and I really didn't give myself the option to back out. Um, she gave me step by step on exactly what I needed to do, and that's what I did. I remember it's, it's really funny because I remember back when you know you first were getting started, and I just remember hearing your name in the community. And for a while, we didn't even meet. Like, I was just hearing you, you know, uh, by phone or, or seeing you invite some guests. And then finally, you started coming up to the workshops. 
and a little bit by little bit, I kind of saw your commitment go up. Like you come to one workshop, and then you come to two workshops, and then before long, it's like you were attending the IMA trainings and everything. And so I saw you at a bunch of things with John Ferguson and a bunch of uh, different leaders that came. What was what was the, the turning point for you? Because it was amazing to watch. You know, you you go from uh, you were kind of interested in it to all of a sudden, all of a sudden in December last year, you got five star certified. Tell them a little bit about. Uh, that that transition. What is there one thing that did it for you that all of a sudden the light clicked, or what, what happened in that transition for you? It wasn't that the the light clicked. The light clicked as soon as I was in. Um, but like a lot of people on here, um, you know, I had a lot of obstacles. I was trying to juggle working the ninety hours a week and and my kids and trying to learn a new career and trying to learn how to balance all of those things. Um, so basically, I had to learn how to leverage my time. So what I was doing is I don't even smoke. But when I was you know, working in law enforcement, I created um, basically time where I took imaginary smoke breaks when everybody else was smoking, and I was <laughs> you know, going to my car and <laughs> calling people, you know, calling prospects and you know, going on my lunch breaks and calling people. Um, but you know, over time, it, it did become overwhelming. And um, I kind of got in my own way, and I became directionless. Um, and, I, and then I ended up putting Lenatus on the back burner. But honestly, after your like continuous um, emails and communication, you know that's the importance of the drip list, right? Um, you know, I just didn't. I, I knew you weren't giving up, and I wasn't giving up either. So, you know, with you reaching out to me and with the encouragement of, of people in our community like JB and, and, and everybody else in our awesome community, um, I decided to, to try it again. But I decided this time to do it full force. And I left my law enforcement job and I never looked back. Um, I, even, I even swallowed my pride and I moved in with my parents because I lived so far away from the office. That's the reason why you never met me. I lived far away, and I didn't get off until 7, so I definitely couldn't come to the briefings. I had kids at home. So um, once they had finished school of last year, um, that's when I decided to do all of this full-time. So I moved in with my parents so that they could help me, and I could give my business the attention that it so desperately needed. So that, that, was, well, that was a turning point. Well, we're definitely proud of you. Um, I mean, honestly, sincerely proud of you because I watched you go from that to all of a sudden, um, you know, studying self-development and personal development and videos and books and everything, and, and all of a sudden, uh, you know, becoming five-star certified and coming to the national conference. And it's just so interesting to, to see that you came in wanting to be out of the law enforcement field. And so now, I mean, we're looking in the system. We just looked in the system last week, and now not only are you five-star certified, but now you got a check coming in for like nearly five thousand dollars from doing Extreme Plus Combo. So we're extremely ecstatic to not just have you, you know, attend your first national conference, but to also see you leading the way. And so that's just exciting. I wanted to make sure that uh, I, I had you come out here and um, get a chance to introduce you to the nation because it's always great to see people not only uh, just put a stake in the ground to say it's going to happen, but to make it happen. So I just wanted to thank you, and, and thank you, Bob, for, for allowing me to bring Candy out and introduce her to everybody. Oh, heavens, my privilege, man. I, I enjoyed kicking back and listening to the story. Candy, congratulations for all you've accomplished. I can't wait to see how your story unfolds. Well, thank you very much.